It was a long day. That's Nori Giabaudi with the Jefferson County Board of Elections, who was there for the very first ballot cast Tuesday and the very last. Crowds started gathering around 5.30 a.m. and by 6, several hundred were inside the lobby as the doors to the county's only polling site opened. People actually moved through the area in voting and scanning the ballot in less than probably 10 minutes most of the day. Voters we spoke to very happy about the process and being able to vote in person despite concerns of the coronavirus. They let you have your own pen and then you get to fill it out in your own little booth and then they sanitize it after I noticed. As the deadline approached, the volume of voters picked up. Some complaining of construction related traffic issues, not knowing which gate to go through and where handicapped parking was located. Our cameras rolled as a few dozen people ran into the building with seconds to spare. In Kentucky, polls are open from 6 to 6. By state law, whoever's in line at that point is allowed to vote. We put a sheriff behind the, the line. But even inside, standing in the lobby did not count as standing in line. At 6 o'clock, uh, there were still a lot of people checking in the lobby. And I talked to the Board of Elections and they said, by law, the voters have to be in a line. Just get them out of the lobby, get them in any line, so that way, we're following the laws that are set forth. By 6.03, Giabati said the Expo Center closed its gates to traffic. And by 6.05, the front doors were locked. In an unprecedented move, the doors reopened minutes before 6.30, a judge granting close to 200 people waiting outside access to the polls. The doors officially locked at 6.30 p.m. The last ballot cast at 9.45 due to a number of people who appealed to their votes with the Board of Elections later that night. For us, it was new. It was a different approach, and we did it in a short period of time. Yesterday was a good day. In Louisville, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.